Hi friends, welcome to Non-Functional Club. In the last session, we have seen how to launch Charles Proxy and how to configure a mobile device with respect to certificates, the proxy IPs, and how we can get the request and response in Charles Proxy. In this session, we will start with the modules of Charles Proxy and the first one which we are going to discuss will be breakpoint so here we'll see how to apply breakpoints how the request and response works with a demo of a application so let's begin so as you can see this is charles proxy application when it is launched currently we are going to monitor the traffic from mobile device so for that we'll apply a precondition that we'll navigate to proxy and from here we'll be removing windows proxy option so when you remove it all the records which are being generated or all the apis which are hit through desktop laptop won't be recorded by charles proxy only the mobile device which is connected those apis will be recorded here so for that we have stopped it from the proxy settings now we'll just clear it using this particular icon you can clear the records and now whatever entries you are seeing here will be coming from the mobile device only let's move to the component which we are going to discuss today that is breakpoint so for that i have one application with me that is mountain basket so here what i'm going to do i'll let let me just open the mobile screen for that so now as you can see the mobile screen here I, I have one application when we open this application first of all I'll just clear this and just open the mobile app whenever I'm opening this application you'll see there is some link that is hit that is mountain basket so here this particular section is getting highlighted or section is getting recorded which is giving me all the information with respect to my APIs. So these are my APIs that is new home page, get app text. And when we navigate to uploads, these are all the uploads related to images. So here, if you see, there are certain images also, which are getting loaded in the application. So same are being captured by Charles proxy. So Charles proxy as a tool will not only capture the apis it will also capture the information which is relevant to the web page so here on this particular web page or through this web particular web page we are able to see that these two apis are hit or apis are called when we launch the mountain basket application similarly if i navigate to certain product or suppose i'll go to pahadi serials i'll just navigate to this so here you will see there are more two apis which are getting called and in this response section you will get all the information which is again relevant to what we have here so suppose if you open the mobile app you will see black wheat arta is present here bunsi arta is present here and the same you can see it is displayed in the name format so this is the response through which we are getting the products displayed in our application so we can clearly see that the response and request of a particular application is captured by the charles proxy suppose we have a requirement wherein we have to capture this request manipulate it and send it to the device so here as you have already seen when we navigated to party serials here we saw this particular text is present here and below that we have all the options or all the products which are listed under it so what we'll try now first thing we will try is we'll try to change the title of this particular page so here the title is retrieved in the new home page api obviously whenever we have to do proxying of any particular application by using you know burp suit charles proxy zx all these tools so there you should be aware of the api which is getting called 
by the functionality of your application here we are clearly aware that through the new home page api i am able to call or i am able to see all the request or this is the response through which my page is getting loaded so what we'll do here we will try to change this particular name and to do that there is one option in charles proxy that is breakpoints now let's see how we can configure breakpoints as we have to just apply breakpoint section to this particular api also to make it more clear i'll just launch we'll clear this out and i'll launch mountain basket application again on my device and here you will see only these two apis are getting called so first we'll work on only these two we have to apply breakpoint on this particular api so i'll just right click on this and you can see there is breakpoint applied so when you click on this when you click on this and again if you right click you will see that is tick mark is applied so again we'll go to proxy and we'll go to breakpoint settings now why are we coming here you'll just see we'll double click on this when we go here you will see that in enable breakpoints we have this particular api already highlighted which is we'll see how the application or how the breakpoint as a feature works before that we'll go to this breakpoint section through settings we'll double double click on it and we will uncheck the request because we are not worried about the request which is going any which ways request we are not going to change we are only going to or we are only going to change the response so here we will keep the response section checked we'll click on okay and again okay now we have to open or we have to again launch this particular um, what we say api right so here what we'll have to do we will have to launch our application again so for that i will close this app and i'll click on it again so when i open it again you will see that here my another section or another pane is opened where i am getting an option to edit the response of this particular api here i'll go to json text and as discussed we are going to change this particular pahadi serials so here we'll give our name right so i'll just rename it to test and i'll say execute again on the same duplicated apis also we'll say p test and again we'll say execute so once we execute you will see my page has launched or my application has clearly launched here now how we can verify whether the things have changed or not if you go to the home page now you will see here the name has changed to ptest and here if you want to verify we will just navigate to the pahadi serials section and now you can see the title has been changed to ptest similarly why we have performed this action suppose you have to check that if the name you know name of this particular title is more than the section you have how it is going to be displayed so for such things you don't need to change in the application you can just change the response which are getting from api you can manipulate it and the manipulated response will be directly displayed on the title box here similarly this will also help you suppose you want to check how the empty response looks like so there if i just close the application again and i will launch it here again we'll have the section where we can edit the response through the breakpoints here we'll just keep it empty and delete it and we'll execute now let's navigate to pahadi serials and here you will see the title is empty so whatever manipulations we want we can make it and we can check again if you want to check for special characters so we'll launch it in the edit response we'll go to json in the json let's give some special characters here 
let's pass it once we passed we go to party serials and now you will see those special characters present here so this is the way we can do certain manipulations and check what is the response we are getting in the application so this is the actual use case of breakpoints next if you just want to stop it we can just click here and the breakpoint for that particular api will be stopped now if you see if i just launch this app now there won't be any hindrance there will be direct opening of the web page and the api will be directly launched without user asked so this way we can manipulate a certain api through the list of all the apis present and we can make the changes as per our wish let's see one more example where we can check the calls and we can apply breakpoint for the internal apis previously what we were doing we are launching the application again to load the home page api now we'll see if we can manipulate any api which are internally called in the app itself in real time so now we will try to change something which is associated with this particular page so that is pahadi pickle so here if you see there are many types of pickle also available in the applications so what we are going to do we are going to manipulate the name of this particular um, section here so it is named as mango pickle let's see if we can change this name to certain other text for this if you see this is the api which is getting called and in this response we are getting the section here let's see how we can manipulate that for that we'll right click and check the breakpoint here also again we'll go to proxy breakpoint settings previously we were ch changing or making changes in the new home page api we'll just uncheck that if, we, if it is not needed we'll remove it and here we'll double click and again we'll uncheck the request section we'll click on ok again ok and now let's see if we are able to change it we'll click on the pahadi pickle section the breakpoint value should appear here and in the response again we'll need to go to json and in json we'll make the changes so here we will say test pickle and we'll copy this I'll execute and make the same changes for all the duplicate apis which are getting called so why these apis are getting called again and again because the application is trying to load this page so in your app also there might be some frequency set for the api to be called again and again you will see already test pickle uh, already the page has been launched with test pickle still we'll execute this one last time and here you will see that mango pickle is now named as test pickle similarly if you can manipulate certain other values in this that also you can check like you can see the variant price here let's see if we can change the variant price as well so we'll again navigate to the same api we'll go to edit response json text and here the price was set to 180 let's see if we can make it to 23 execute this again in this 180 we will check or make the changes to we'll have to be a bit quick let's say 23 execute again here say 23 execute so if we see the value of price is not coming from this particular section let's again try this we'll navigate back and we'll go to this section again and we launch we'll edit the response again we'll go to json text and we'll try to set the value here
now you can see the value has been changed so in this way we'll again get to know from where or which value is actually responsible for making the change so here when we change the variant price to 122 it got reflected previously we were making the changes in this particular value pair so this is how we can tackle it out and check and this will give us an idea which api or which component of that particular api is responsible for which particular text here so this is how the actual breakpoints look like or how we can use the breakpoint in this you can also edit the request and the response as per your wish so that was about applying breakpoints in charles proxy for next session we will see the other modules of charles proxy hope this session was useful don't forget to subscribe non-functional club channel thank you